It is believed the site of the new arena will be west of Woodward near the Fox Theater. 7 Action News reporter Tom Wade is uncovering new details for us tonight. If this project does go through, it will bring new life to all of these empty lots here in the area of downtown Detroit. His vast Detroit empire makes him one of the richest men in the country. And now Michael Illich, the owner of the Tigers, Red Wings, and Little Caesars, is looking to expand, this time in downtown Detroit's backyard. We've all been anticipating this announcement, so it's great to hear that there's progress. The owner of Bookie's Bar at the corner of Columbia and Cass says he's looking forward to seeing these empty lots transformed. It benefits everybody from business owners to uh, the people want, that want to live downtown, the people that just want to come visit the city. State Rep John Walsh, who is working on the project, says Illich's empty lots west of Woodward near the Fox Theater and north to 75 will likely be the footprint for the new mixed-use 35-acre development. Walsh says it will include a hockey arena as well as shopping, office space, and residential units. I think it's huge. You look at this opportunity to put that, that stadium there, it creates a very... Uh, exciting dynamic amongst existing businesses, and that's what I think we're looking for. Walsh is helping to push through a bill that will allow Illich to supplement the $650 million project with taxpayer funds from Detroit's Downtown Development Authority. I think it's about $12.8 million, roughly. As for downtown Detroit's newer residents, many feel this will only enhance their urban experience. I'm really excited. I think it's great. There's a lot of action going on, and I'm excited to hear that there's going to be more down here. Tonight, the Illiches did not want to go on camera, and they are not saying exactly where this project will go. As far as when all of this could be approved, it could be some time. The state hopes to have the permits approved by the end of this month, and then next year, the city and state will work together to get all of this pushed through. Reporting from downtown Detroit, I'm Tom Waite, 7 Action News. All right, Tom, a lot of people excited about it. Now, for years, Mike Illich has been talking about building a new home for the Red Wings in downtown Detroit, and this new project is expected to accomplish just that. The proposed development would include a replacement for Joe Louis Arena, which was built back in 1979.